안녕하세요. Hello. Today I'm gonna make tteokbokki. Koreans tend to relieve stress by eating deliciously spicy food and sweating when they are under stress. A typical spicy food is tteokbokki. This is a typical tteokbokki rice cake that looks like small sticks. But today I'm gonna use rice cake for rice cake soup. Rice cake for rice cake soup is kind of multi-purpose and because it's small, seasoning of food is well absorbed. So I will use this today. Besides the main ingredients, you can add vegetables or instant noodle as you want. But normally, green onions go in. Rice cakes are usually stored in the freezer because of their short shelf life. Take out a handful of rice cakes and defrost them in water for more than 10 minutes. If you don't go through this process, the rice cake would be hard to chew. Separate them one by one so that they are defrosted well. Chop green onions, onions, and cabbage. The shape doesn't matter, so you can cut it into bite-sized pieces so they are easy to eat. Green onion is quite often used in Korean food because adding green onion makes the taste deeper. But green onion is different from leek, so please distinguish them when you use. Since I have onions and cabbage in the freeze, I put them in. But if you don't have, don't worry, it's okay. Also, you can add other vegetables like a carrot and mushroom. Fish cake is fried with fish and flour, so if you rinse it under hot water, impurities will go out and the taste will be better. Cut the fish cake into pieces. Put a spoonful of cooking oil on the pan and add green onions first to bring out the flavor. If you feel this process bothered, skip it and pour water and all the ingredients together. Stir fry the red pepper paste slightly over low heat in the oil with the center of green onion. I added about 2 spoons of chili paste, but don't put too much of gochujang at first. Adjust it to your taste while cooking. Add 2 spoons of soy sauce and mix well. Pour enough water to soak the ingredients. Add red pepper powder as much as you want. Now put in all the ingredients. When Western people spend time with their friends at pizza or burger restaurants after school, Koreans go to snack bars and eat tteokbokki, deep fried vegetables, and kimbap after school. And that's why tteokbokki is one of the most popular street foods. Add 2 spoons of sugar. I added oligosaccharide instead of sugar. I suggest to add 2 spoons of chili paste, 2 spoons of soy sauce, 2 spoons of sugar, and 1 spoon of red pepper powder at first and adjusting the taste while simmering. Stir the rice cake from time to time so that it doesn't stick to the bottom. To give a deeper taste, we add seasoning. You can easily add anchovy stock or beef stock. But I don't think you have either, so I will give you a tip. That's curry powder or curry stock. Add 1 teaspoon of dashida, soup stock, or curry powder. Add a little curry because it has a very strong scent. If you don't add noodle, what's left is to simmer until the rice cakes are well seasoned. Don't forget to stir from time to time so that the rice cakes don't stick to the bottom. I added more water because there's not enough water to add noodle. I like spicy tteokbokki, so I added more red pepper paste and red pepper powder. Tteokbokki is supposed to taste spicy and a little bit sweet, so try the taste and if you feel spicy but you still want to keep eating, congratulations, you made it. Boiled eggs and fried dumplings, bandu, go very well with tteokbokki. And at the time, I had a boiled egg, so I put it in. There's a little soup left in my tteokbokki, but when Koreans eat boiled eggs, they split and soak them in the tteokbokki soup. 
Some Western people are not used to the chewy texture of rice cakes, but once they fall into the chewy texture of rice cakes and the spicy and sweet taste of dakbokki, it will be hard to get out of it. So why don't you give it a try? Thanks for watching and see you next time, please.